Hello folks, welcome to an Independence.com brief video review and water resistance test of Private Reserve's Ebony Blue. I've got the bottle right back here behind the uh, review and as you can see this is a typical Private Reserve ink. It's very saturated, super dark on the inside of the cap. And you can actually see here on the rim of the bottle a bit of the sheen you'll find in this ink. It is a dark blue-black ink with a fair amount of green in it. I wrote in the review that it was actually uh, not that green, but it turns out that this sucker has got a lot of green in it. If you get it to the point where you've got, uh, like here, you've got some nice shading. This ink does shade pretty well, quite like that, and also quite a lot of sheen, as you can see better in some of the uh, pictures on the blog. But if you look in here, it actually does look quite green, kind of a tealish color. Uh, but then you get these real dark bits when you have a wet pen. So it really depends on how uh, wet your pen is, I suppose. This one is a little bit dry, this Lamy All Star that I was using with a medium nib. Uh, I actually didn't write medium nib on there, but I'm... Uh, no, it's a fine. This is a fine nib. I don't know why I didn't write it down on this one. What are you going to do? Uh, this is a pretty good ink. No feather, no spread. Uh, you get some dots, a little bit of bleed through on some weaker papers. Of course, no problem on, on uh, Rhodia here. But uh, do check out this ink. If you see it here with all of these uh, other inks that I've got here. I have 54th Mass on here, Mysterious Blue, which does have a, ch a tendency to turn a little bit too green. Ebony Blue is quite dark, uh, so it is a fun ink to write with, even though it does uh, have that tendency to, uh, I don't know, dry a bit in the nib and feed. So if you put it in a pan that you're not using very often, you might have a little trouble getting it started, but once it's started, it's pretty darn good. So, alright, let's see how this guy does with some water. Here comes the syringe. Yeah, there we go. You can see a lot of it coming right up just as soon as the water hits the page. There we go, let's wipe it away. And well, you can see there's a whole lot of blue and green coming up. The lines are still clearly visible, so not really resistant, but it's dark enough that it's going to leave a recognizable amount behind. Alright, well, there you go. That's a brief video review of Prayer Reserve's Ebony Blue. Go and check that one out.